Hi there, I'm Murray Washburn, uh, Director of Product Marketing for Cannondale Bicycles, and we are here at the launch of the Cannondale Pro Cycling Team, and I am with the uh, Team Evo High Mod right here in front of me. So, <clears throat> for those of you who are familiar with the Evo, this is the Evo High Mod that we have offered now for uh, two, two years. Uh, painted up in the new Cannondale Pro Cycling livery, um, very similar in colors to uh, the, what it's been in the past. Um, some slight changes for the eagle-eyed among you in terms of a quad wrap decal and the Evo moving to the top here. But uh, the frame is the same great Evo high mod that we've done for years. Um, for uh, Again, for those of you who uh, are familiar with the Evo line, you'll know that there are actually three different versions of the Evo frame. Um, we have the Evo high mod, which is the one that they're riding, which is uh, a, the, the frame that we launched first. We have uh, available at some lower price points below this um, our regular Evo Carbon, which is exactly the same mold, same layup, but done with um, using more intermediate modulus fiber as opposed to the more expensive high modulus fiber. Um, an interesting point to note is uh, that we actually have one frame above this. The team doesn't get our, uh, our fanciest Evo, which is the Evo Nano. Um, the reason that we do that is the Evo Nano is essentially an Evo high mod frame, but we utilize some nanotechnology resins to shave an additional 20 to 30 grams out of the frame. Stiffness, ride quality are virtually unchanged, so since we have to add so much weight to these bikes to bring them up to the UCI minimum, it just didn't make sense to, to go with the, uh, with the even lighter Evo Nano frame. So these guys get the Evo high mod frame, and uh, the, uh, the sort of uh, flashy and fancy, if somewhat heavier, uh, team paint job. So a lot of things that people don't realize is that um, when we're pushing the envelope of the physical limits of what can be done with carbon like we are with the Evo, paint actually begins to represent a significant portion of the overall frame weight. In this case, we're looking at over 100 grams of, of paint on a, on a frame that when you're looking at it completely bare weighs under 700 grams. So uh, it's a nice way for it to look fancy and it's a good place for us to hide some, hide some weight uh, and bring the bike up to the UCI weight limits. Another little place that we uh, hide some weight for these guys is rather than using the ultralight aluminum BB30 spindle that uh, uh, has made inroads into the world because of how light and how stiff it is. We actually, the team uses a, uh, a steel, machine steel spindle that enables the weight that we have to add to be concentrated down low in the bottom bracket um, where it doesn't affect uh, the handling of the bike very much. So, we it out with the latest and greatest from our, from our uh, suppliers. SRAM, Physique, FSA, Vision providing the wheels, which is a division of FSA, and uh, we have uh, the glorious Cannondale hologram SISL2 crank um, fitted to an SRM power meter.